and some players are now out in front of us. Uh, information for two captains are with uh, tonight's referee, who is Ollie Yates, his assistants Ian Gittens and Stuart Richardson. I'm expecting Kaisley looking at the lineup. We've gone for a 4 2 3 1. Uh, the back four Danny Lowe, Danny Hall, Rob Atkinson, and James Hurst. Then your two uh, holding midfielders, Jake Lawler and Danny Boschel. On the right of midfield, Anthony Dudley. On the left of midfield, Nicky Boschel. Oliver Norburn, for me, is the most likely to take up that centre attacking role. And then Emil St. Clair will uh, lead the line, of course, as well. Dan Atkinson. The, the, the back of his uh, ankle down the Achilles, that's very painful. Free kick taken quickly, looking for St. Clair. Shot comes in from uh, Anthony Dudley. Sorry, it was Nicky Boschel who was hitting it with his right foot. Low towards that near post, but the goalkeeper saw it all the way. To stop his run short because the pass hadn't come and he was uh, offside and he doubled back and uh, Dudley went for a pass that Sinclair wasn't expecting at all. Jake Lawler does well, picks up possession now for Geisley and Geisley looks to come down the right hand side. Here's Hurst, low ball into the feet of Dudley. Dudley flicks it across. Sinclair, can he get the shot off? He does! Hits the base of the post, rolls across, hits the opposite post and comes back out. Absolutely unbelievable. Away. <laughs> it's a good ball forward from James Hurst. Looks to get down that right hand side. Emil Sinclair is out there as well. Instead, it's gone to Boschel, who lifts it across. Dudley heads it back across goal. Shouts of handball not given by the referee inside the box. Now Norburn, low ball into the 18 yard box. Find Dudley back to Norburn again, just outside the 18 yard box now. Great ball over to that right hand side. Dudley shot comes in from Emil Sinclair. Takes the deflection, ricochets away. Back into Geisley possession though, inside the 18 yard box with Boschel. Ball comes across from Hurst, nobody there. But this is some really good, good attacking football that we've seen in the opening 12 minutes from Geisley. Oh, fabulous, frantic, goalmouth football. For the visitors, side from Gloucestershire. Marsh Brown plays it short, looks to find free. He's just put it straight into the feet of Nicky Bostel. And as Nick Keith tries to hide his fits of laughter. <laughs> That was a, a contender for the worst free kick, apart from Cheltenham's possibly at Tranmere on Saturday. So we've got a corner now for the visitors, 21 minutes gone here on Geisley FC Radio. The cross comes in from the left-hand side. It's taken. It's just about defended second attempt. It comes back in. John Parkin looks to hook it, goal bound. And that is a superb header from a man who stood behind the goal. Well, that's lovely stuff. He's got good, good height, good distance. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrific. John Parkin attempted to get a shot off at goal, lifted it over the top of the crossbar, and some fella who was stood near the, uh, the fencing took a few steps back and headed it brilliantly back into play. And, uh, space for both sets of uh, attackers at either end of the pitch. Danny Hall now lofts the ball forward, nodded down very well by Dudley, who then gets eyes, gets his skates on, catches up with a good ball forward. Has to turn back though. Here's Boschel. Good effort. Lifts it over the top of the crossbar though. Didn't miss it by much. Was leaning back slightly as he hits it. Had it a bit on target. Boschel goes across to Norburn. Nice bit of footwork to get a bit of space and time away from Rob Sinclair. Back to Boschel again. Into Dudley. Back to Norburn. Looks to play the return ball to Dudley. Great play between Norburn and Dudley. As the ball is lifted into the face of Sinclair. Sinclair turns. Gets a shot off. Saved by Steve Arnold. Great low save as he dives to our left hand side. The boss, the cross comes in now from low to, oh, to Jake Lawler. Who it's fair to say in that situation probably wasn't the right man you want still on the edge of the 18 yard box. And now Hurst can send that down the left. As Emil Sinclair gets it under control. He's got three green and black shirts in front of him though. Little support. But it has now found Oliver Norburn, flicks it on this right hand side to Danny Boschel, inside the 18 yard box goes back across, Nicky Bosch, uh, Nicky Boschel hit it on the volley and it goes behind for a corner kick, it is Elliot Freer delivers this left footed towards the penalty spot, played away well, good ball from Oliver Norburn to play that into Nicky Boschel. Boschel gets to the halfway line, he's got Dudley ahead of him, looks to switch it to the left-hand side to find Danny Lowe. Really good ball that from Nicky Boschel. Meanwhile, Oliver Norburn is down and looks in pain. But play continues with Forest Green winning possession in their defensive third. 
poor pass, poor play, sorry there from uh, Anthony Dudley. No burn, he's back on his feet, hobbling around a bit. Three men for Forest Green over on this left hand side. Keanu Ross Brown gets it round. Still, Dan Atkinson gets something on it. Keanu Ross Brown pulls it back across to Brett Williams, who puts it in. It was a scrappy set of play from Geisley, and they've paid the price for their missed chances in the opening half of this game. Geisley leading, uh, Geisley falling behind, sorry. Yeah, it's Forest Green. What well, absolute heartbreak for Geisley. The throw. This is the where you really need Ryan Tulson with the long throw. The throwing is taken quickly and short. Lifted back into box. Hits uh, a Forest Green players. The supporters behind there. Appeal for a handball. Not given. Cross comes back in from Hurst. And that is that. The referee blows the full time whistle here at Nethermore. The Lions. Falling behind relatively late on, a heartbreaking defeat and one that on the balance of play isn't deserved. They should have taken something from this game of the way they've played. Full time here at Nethermore is Geisley nil, Forest Green Rovers 1.